Hello everybody, Andrew Maeski here with Dental L. So I have been taking a lot of courses lately on the coronavirus, plus of course watching the news even though I don't want to, because um, it's just horrible lately. I mean, it's so depressing, but I want to get back to work and I want to be ready for when I get back to work. So you might be wondering, well, what have I learned and what will I be changing when we can finally get back to work. So I'm going to share my screen in a second, some Amazon finds that I have found that I do want to buy to prepare myself. I would prefer purchasing things like this from a dental supply company, but they're all out right now. So I want to have at least something so that when they say, okay guys, tomorrow you can, you can get back to work, but you need this, 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 and this, I want to be ready. And then obviously purchase you know, other things from dental supply companies, because at least we know where they're coming from, right? And, and that's kind of what I want to do is to share my screen to show you guys a couple things that I have found from Amazon. Um, I have found some reusable caps for your hair, um, because they say with the virus, it is, it is airborne, but we have to think about the aerosols, we have to think about the droplets, where is everything going to go? Um, and probably to take a shower, preferably after every patient, but that probably isn't possible. So we will be taking a shower when we get home. But anything that we can do to kind of reduce it touching us, the better, right? Um, and I want to get a face shield. I found some neat things on Amazon where they have this like hat with a shield, which people could probably wear now to go to the grocery store if that's what you wanted to do, but that's a little bit, um, that's a lot, but if that's something that you wanted to do. Um, as I said, I, um, I found like a face shield on um, Amazon, which would fit over top of loops because I have loops. Um, I need my loops because it's just so much easier to see, plus they have a light on the end. Um, they are not recommending reusable masks just because when you wash them, they don't work as well after that. You know, you don't know how well they're actually protecting you. So they are still recommending those N95 masks for most, but you have to make sure they fit properly. So somebody has to come to check it for you. Is that really possible? Who knows? But how I see it is it can't hurt to have one. But then they also say to wear a face mask over top. So you're, you're still kind of protecting yourself as much as possible. That's a lot, but that's what they're suggesting. Um, here, guys, let me show you. So I'm just going to share my screen. So I found this interesting hat thing that I was talking to you guys about. I can leave a link for you on the bottom. But I just kind of did a search for like the N95 mask, and this is what popped up. I wonder if I can go back and show you guys. So as you guys can see, they have all kinds of things here. This looks really intense. This isn't an N95 mask though, I don't think, is it? This is like a like extra mask. If you wore that for your patients, they would be scared. I'm not saying that appearance is everything, it's not. But I notice how they have like other things that say N95 masks, but they are also saying you guys to make sure that it's a true N95 mask, you need to make sure that it has a model number. Um, and it, it has to actually say it on the actual mask. I don't see that this one does. It's not showing like the full mask on the side, but I wouldn't purchase, um, purchase this one personally. Like I would go for something that looks more official like this. See how it has the actual number, it has the model number. Yes, it's in a different language. Looks like it's in Chinese. I have no idea, um, but at least it looks more official to me. It's a three pack, but look at the price. It's about $60. You are paying for the extra shipping. But just to kind of show you guys, like they do sell those N95 masks at Canadian Tire actually, so I might look into that a little bit more. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys these. I would not purchase something like this as an example because it doesn't look very official. I don't see a model number, none of that on the mask, but I don't know. Like this is just kind of my opinion. Um, the face shield here, I did add some, some things to my cart, but let me just kind of look it up quickly for you. And I will leave the links for you guys on the bottom. Um, a dental hygienist told me to buy this one, okay? So it's, it's actually one of the cheaper ones, but it does fit over your loops apparently. 
So this one here, the nice thing about Amazon, if you don't like it or if it doesn't fit, take it back. But look at the bottom here again, like they have all of these different like heavy duty hats slash coverings. Um, I don't know, just some ideas here. I'm not saying to wear this for the dental office, but if you felt more comfortable wearing it when you go out to the store, that might be an option. Um, so I will definitely be buying that. I did buy a thermometer, one to take your temperature for in the ear, because um, I have a feeling like they will want us to screen patients and take their temperature first. Um, a couple questions that they want us to ask patients is, um, if it's been seven days since they tested positive, you can treat them. I think that's for emergencies only though. Um, if it was me, I would just simply say, even if you've tested positive, wait a good two weeks. Um, or if they have been sick, I would wait two weeks. But they do say after they've tested positive, seven days since a positive test, you can treat them for emergencies. Um, and if they were feeling sick, as long as it's three days afterwards. But again, for emergencies, I would still wait the 14 days, but that's just me. This is from a course that I took the other day and that could even have since changed now. So these are just kind of my opinions, you guys. So don't, you know, go crazy with this if you don't um, um, agree with what I'm saying. This is just my opinion, but I wanted to share it with everybody. So um, I bought a thermometer. Um, I'm going to be wearing a lab coat that covers my, my arms. Um, I tried to look up some reusable, like lab, sorry, not, not lab, like gowns, because I don't want a disposable one, because that's just so much waste, in my opinion. I was looking for re, uh, reusable ones, but it's hard to find the ones that cover your arms, because otherwise, what's the point of wearing one? That's how I see it. Um, so at least with my lab coat, it does cover my entire arms. Um, I'm going to be wearing a new one for every patient. Um, so that's just something that I decided to do as well. I talked about the hair caps, the face shield, my loops. I'm going to get an N95 masks um, with the face mask over top. Yeah, it seems like a lot, eh? But I want to be prepared just in case. Oh, another thing they talked about, oh shoot, let me just check my notes again. They want the patient to rinse with, I believe it's 1.5% hydrogen peroxide. Yes, it is. 1.5% hydrogen peroxide solution before their procedure. That just helps to reduce um, the microbial load in the mouth. Check the back of a lot of Listerines. They have that also. So you don't have to buy like a specific um, hydrogen peroxide solution, but Listerine is perfectly fine. Just make sure that it has the 1.5% hydrogen peroxide. Um, the instrument processing is the same. I won't be doing anything different because we have always been treating it as if every patient is highly infectious. So I'm not changing anything that way. I'm still doing the internal barriers, the external spore testing, pouches, the dirty side, the clean side, all of that's the same. Um, but I think just the new things are, we will be pre-screening our patients. Um, I'm a mobile hygienist too, so I travel to homes, plus I see patients in my own practice. Um, but I do think that that will be an incentive for a lot of people. I can come right to them, so they don't necessarily have to go to a dental office with other sick people, who knows? all of the aerosols, all of that in the air constantly every single day. I do think that that will be quite the incentive for people or just coming to my house. They know that they're the only ones. Um, I'll probably see patients like every um, two or three hours if it's in my own house. So then that way, if there's anything in the air, it's gone um, before the next patient comes back. And actually, I'm just checking my notes again. I can't remember what I said, how long it is for it to be airborne. Okay, yes, so they are saying two to three hours for it to be airborne, but up to two days on surfaces, cardboard is one day. So that's where it gets tricky, right? But that's where disinfecting comes in, where we do that anyway. They are still saying to pre-clean everything before you disinfect your, you know, chairs, stools, your compressor for me who does have one for my mobile, your saliva ejector attachments, all of that. Um, so they are still saying that, but that's nothing new. 
um, yeah, you guys, so I hope that helps. I'm just kind of talking to you guys what I'll be doing, what I've been thinking about. Let me know though if you guys have any questions and I will see you guys in the next one.